Welcome back Instruct2 fans and today I'm going to show you how to take advantage of one of the newest features and that is Global Layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project off of the Ghost Shooter tutorial version. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Projects, we're going to create a new layout, no event sheet. We're going to call this Global to represent our global objects, layers, and etc. And so what we're going to do is we're going to first rename this to UI. We're not going to make it global yet. We're going to go back and we're going to go copy over cut and paste over all of the objects from the UI layer in the main or in the first layout I should say. We're going to just paste these in here. I'm going to make this up the top left corner and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into this layer we're going to make the background transparent that way to make it easier to see this white and then what we're going to do is now we are going to oh actually first we're going to go to UI we're going to set parallaxing to zero so that way it looks static to the player, like it's always in that top left position. And then we're going to set it to global. And what this is going to do is this UI layer will overwrite all other UI layers within the project, which means this UI layer is going to be overwritten by this one, by our new layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this out, let it load, and ta-da! It's parallaxing, it's up in the top left corner, it looks exactly like we wanted it to from the original project, and it is working. And then what this is going to do is if, for, if, like, for example, you have a second level, you create another layout um, for level two, quote unquote, and you create the UI layer in that part, in that project, what it'll do is it'll overwrite that one as well. So this global layout, or sorry, this global layer in which we have the global layout will overwrite all other layout layers of UI. If that sounds a little confusing, that's all right. It should work the same way in pretty much all projects. And since it doesn't take a whole lot to implement this in your games, I would suggest that you, for example, if you have multiple UI layers and a bunch of layouts, that you consolidate those into one global layout, sort of like I did here. Except, you know, it'll be a lot more complicated in the larger projects that you guys have. However, I think it is worth it. So thank you guys for watching. I will be back with more tutorials. I'm always interested in making things for you guys. And thank you very much for subscribing, and I will see you guys next time.